information security governance, the first of our four knowledge domains. It should come as a no surprise that a certification exam for CISM, Certified Information Security Manager, is going to have a focus on the governance, the processes and procedures around general information security. And that's going to be the focus of this domain. And I'm going to follow a very consistent format for each and every one of those four domains. Number one is what's in it for you? Well, there's a lot in it for you for this particular domain, 24%. So approximately a quarter of your entire exam questions are going to come from this particular domain. And that's going to be pretty significant. Based on 200 questions across the entire exam, that's going to be 48 questions that are going to come directly from the knowledge in this domain. Now, how does ISACA define the information security domain? There are nine tasks, and that's what we're going to focus on this introductory session to each domain. The nine tasks which is generally what is involved with the overall processes in this domain. And then the roll up your sleeves, start doing it, right? Understanding that. There is going to be the 15 knowledge statements or equate that to 15 sessions to follow, which is the actual roll up the sleeves or the hands-on. And this is what you as a CISM manager is going to be responsible for in the day-to-day -day life. And before I get into the detailed tasks, just a little bit of structure around how Isaka has put together this exam uh, preparation material or how I'm following the Isaka guidelines. As I said, there are tasks and a knowledge statement for each domain and what is a task defined by Isaka? Okay, a task is the things within the domain that the candidate must know how to perform, and that's what we're going to focus on in just a minute in the nine tasks. And then the details, the knowledge statements. The knowledge statement is the exact process that you will follow to do to enact these nine tasks. I would not worry too much on the definitions of tasks, knowledge statements, or domains. There is unlikely to be any explicit questions on your exam about or around these terminologies. Uh, the, the reasons for this are more didactic or pedagogic to facilitate the learning process or to help organize things on your head. 